how did you uh, get to the point where you could balance your work schedule with making beats? Because a lot of people watching, you know, want to quit their jobs or at least achieve what you achieve where they're making as much off of music as they would at their nine to five. But um, a lot of them are intimidated by the prospect of having to balance all the demands of being a, a full-time beat maker with continuing to work the job, you know, and I know that being from experience, being a full-time producer, beat maker takes a lot of, of time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I ain't gonna lie. It wasn't that much of a challenge uh, balancing it, but I think I had saw an interview, bro, with this guy M16 and M16 was like, either you're going to go all the way in or, you know what I'm saying? You're going to keep getting half results. So doing it, I'm not going to lie. Like I had a lot of, you know, I got a lot of placements, you know what I'm saying? Doing it halfway. But when it came out, like when 2015 came and I was like, man, I'm going to go all in, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. You know, that's when I started getting like the results results, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's nothing wrong with balancing it with a job and stuff like that. But I think if you really wanted to, if you really want to make it your life, you got to like go a hundred percent in all or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you pointed out that uh that you were getting because you you said you were getting placements while you were still working a job but that wasn't paying all of your bills and i think a lot of people have this perception a lot of producers that the second you get a placement you're in there and yeah, nah. you're just good yeah nah. what was that like because it must have been an interesting dynamic knowing that you know you're getting because i'm assuming you're talking about major placements with bigger artists and then people might have been looking at you differently and maybe you got some some illusion shattered at that point yourself where you're like damn i'm supposed to be i'm supposed yeah. to be a millionaire right now what's happening <laughs> well <laughs> i didn't know what to expect I, I you know what i'm saying like when the you know my first my first first uh placement with a major with, with with an artist that was on a major label was this guy named louisiana cash man and um like he was blowing up through Texas, you know what I'm saying, through Louisiana, you know, just the shit, the chitlin circuit. And uh he had a song called Walk with a Dick. I did his second single. He was signed with Jive at the time. Oh yeah, I and, used to play that record in the club like crazy, Walk with a Dip. Yeah, man. You know, so I was like, man, this this it's gonna be life changing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, I was waiting on I remember waiting on that uh no, actually I didn't even get no money off of that record at all other than just the, the advance you know what i'm saying so that was like okay this is real you know what i'm saying like i got an advance from i don't even think i dealt with the label i think they just paid me out you know what i'm saying uh but the the time that i did um started to see like as cap royalties and shit like that was this record that i did with this guy named two pistols uh called i don't care that was featuring two chains and that was my first time I saw like an ASCAP royalty check. I'm like, whoa, this, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was going to be bigger than what it was, but it wasn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It got me some gas to get to work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Back, you know what I'm saying? So, but it's, you know, it, yeah, man. Sometimes people can get that, you know. I, I had some really tough, uh, oh, well, not some really, some really hard learning moments. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I thought it was going to be this way. And and then it, it it definitely wasn't that way, man. 